Right folks, welcome back to Boys Garage. Right, just a quick update, very quick, to see where we are. Um, Project Tow Hitch has hit the hitch. Uh, did you like that? It's just to go on hold for a little while. Um, the reason it's had to go on hold is that I've decided to do the project the correct way around. I'm looking for buying a trailer first, uh, rather than finish the hitch and then find the trailer itself won't match up or whatever. Common sense really, isn't it? So I've been looking on eBay for a cheap trailer, and that is a nightmare in itself, because you know what people on eBay are like. They always want to let the sale run, then they mess you about. Then when you bid for it, someone bids you over a quid, whatever, you lose something for an extra pound, you try and bid on another one and it gets removed. Oh, I've had nightmares. Um, currently on a 10 day work stretch, like 10 shifts in a row, and that finishes on Thursday. So my next day off Thursday, it's currently Monday. Uh, just working right through really with the new job. So I haven't had a day, a day off at all to do anything. So at the minute, everything's still up on the bench. It's all still in place, ready to go. Uh, ready to weld into a single one-piece frame, but if I go doing that, I want to know what height the clamp's going to be. With the problems I've had getting a hitch, uh, getting a trailer on eBay, it may be that I just resort to buying the parts, and that means buying the axles, the little stub axles you get, uh, which bolt on underneath, get some angle iron. Uh, the welding is coming on, as you've seen, um, so I'm confident that I can put a frame together with some one inch box section, I can buy that from stock, uh, I could go to the dump and I could find uh, a good source of uh, one inch steel box section I've found is desks. If you go to the dump and you find an old desk, office desks, they often have one inch box section steel and it's two and a half mil thick, good stuff. If you just rip it apart and use the framework, it's good free steel and it's always good if it's free, you know me. So, I may be making the trailer, yeah, I don't know. I bid on one, it went through a five day sale, which is what I've been waiting for while I've been off the tube, uh, and I didn't win it, I um, outbid by a pound, and then miraculously it was relisted, and I said to the guy, that's weird, uh, what about my second chance offer, I'll have it. Uh, and then miraculously he went quiet and went all embarrassed, and then it disappeared off of, off of eBay, which means obviously he was bidding on it himself, or he was just stupid. So whatever, I didn't get that one. I'm bidding on another one. I've asked the guy if he'll sell it to me now, but as you know with eBay they won't. He wants to let the sale run, so I've got to wait till Thursday. So Thursday I should know if I've won the trailer. I'm not buying a new one, 200 pounds for a trailer, for a bike that looks like that. It's just pointless. So um, those that do look uh, a bit disheveled, there's one that's made out of old scaffold planks that was quite cool really, worth about 30 pounds, but uh, the guy wanted nearly 100 quid for it, which is just bizarre. Who do you think you are, idiot? So I didn't buy that one either. So that's where I am really. I'm just stuck in between a long working run of shifts. Uh, can't do anything on this. I want to get the trailer first so I know what height the clamp is at. Then I'll make the hitch fit that common sense way around. So there we go, that is all it is really. Just want to say thank you so much. In the last six days, I think a hundred, something like a hundred new subscribers in the last 10 days or something like that, which is amazing. So I want to say thank you for that. Thank you for all of your fantastic comments. Some of the things that you, you ask about are real simple and I can do short videos. Keep them coming. If I know how to do it or if I've done it before, I'll always make you a little video, show you how it's done. It seems to work if someone shows you something, better read it in a manual. Um, and thank you for the support and the kind comments and some of the fun jokes. Uh, I watch a lot of guys on the tube and they're busy at the moment. So as Milo said the other day, you said, mate, you look at your screen and you've got 25 videos to watch, so that keeps you busy. It's now nine o'clock at night and I've just got clear from work and, and, and Missy P camera girl's cooking a meal now. We're gonna have dinner and that'll be 10 o'clock. This is the thing, this is it with shift work. You don't get the time off to play with your raggedy toys. So that's all it is for the minute. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for watching Doughboy's Garage. Tune in again, I would hope next Two days, three days, I should have a video of the next section. I want to drill these out some drill bits now. I'm going to make the frame so that it fits, but adjustable, and then have it ready to just tack. And I may just tack it in place as well, so I get the geometry right, and then it's there. And once the trailer comes, provided it's the right height, I can weld it. If it's not, I can break the tacks and get it correct. So it's sort of setting it up, ready for final welding. And I'll crack on with that on Thursday. It's now Monday, three days' time. Okay, there we go. Thanks for tuning in to Your Boys Garage. Ride safe. See you next time.